Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Humboldt State University's Moodle Orientation for Students. We're at the main page, www.humboldt.edu, and we're going to show you how to get involved with Moodle, but before we can get you to use Moodle, we have to be able to find it. So right at the top where it says Humboldt State University, let's come to the right and we'll see Log In to My Humboldt. Now, if you were to click that, you'd see a place to log in, but there are two additional ways to get in. If you look in the Quick Links, it becomes a drop-down. We move to the section for Tools, and there is my Humboldt. And if I move my cursor to the bottom of the column, I see my Humboldt is here now. And if you give that a click, you'll get to the login page. And here's where you'll enter your username and password. This is the information you've already been issued. Do not give this out, and we will never send you an email asking for you to provide us your username and password. That's called phishing, and no, no, we don't want to do that. Guard this carefully. Enter your username and password, select Login, and you'll be taken to the My Humboldt portal. A lot of good information here as they continue to develop this utility. What we're going to do is go to the upper right hand corner and where it says Moodle, give it a click. And when you do that, you'll get to the main Moodle page. Now, we do have uh, some information at the very top. This is kind of a bulletin board for you here in the center column. In the right hand column, we have information on Moodle support where to find us, what our office hours are, and you have an opportunity to put a face to the name. These are our Moodle staff of specialists. In the left-hand column, uh, you'll see some information as well. Some people like to go to the upper left-hand corner and where it says My Moodle, give it a click, and you will also see your courses. Now, it's possible not all courses will be visible. This is because your instructor is still working and putting the final touches on them. So if you don't see it, don't panic. It may not be officially open to view yet. Let's come again to the upper left-hand corner where it says HSU Moodle give it a click. We'll take it back to the main page and I'd like you to scroll down on your screen until you find course categories. In the course categories section, here's Moodle support for faculty and students. Give it a click and we'll see an HSU student guide to Moodle. Give it a click. It may ask you to enroll and if it does, simply say yes. There are no fees, there are no credits or anything associated. This just validates you as an HSU student and allows you to get into this training section. When we do, we're going to see a fairly representative screen of what you'll encounter in Moodle. In the right-hand column, we have our mascot, and there's a photo and contact information. We're finding more and more professors are doing this as well. Of course, they don't use the mascot's picture, they use their own, but it's, hi, I'm Professor Moodle, and my office is such and such, the class is located, here's my phone number. It's a good way uh, to get in touch and make contact. As we scroll down the center section, you're going to see information. What is Moodle? How to call us? What to do when you have technical questions versus class questions? There's some critical points. Uh, maximum upload size. Firefox is the browser of choice for both Mac and PC, and it can take up to 24 hours for you to be entered into the system at registration. This is because you're being processed across a number of servers. Also, we'd like to urge you not to forward your email uh, to a different account. Please use the Humboldt.edu email that you've been issued, otherwise you can confuse Moodle and stuff can go awry. If we look in topic area two, you're looking at video number one, a Moodle overview for students. There are more videos available. 
In topic area three, these are sample lessons, but it does show you, for example, a syllabus. If we zoom in, it shows it's a Word document. We'll have a PowerPoint document, and that symbol for class website link is just basically that. It's on the World Wide Web. There's also a place for you to ask questions, and if you come down to the video and want to know more about Moodle, how it works, we use Legos, and I think it's kind of a nice idea. Uh, there's that information for you. There's even a pro Moodle video made by some students at another university. Let's come back up to the top, and in the left-hand column, you'll see participants. That's uh, who's in your class. And there are some other activities available. This allows you to track assignments, forums, and the various resources your professor may have created for you. So we invite you to come on back, watch the rest of the videos. You can drop into the Moodle office at any time. We're in Library 315, or give us a call at extension 3633. We're here to help, and we're looking forward to seeing you soon.